finding that there's more to do at the Olympic venues than watch the competition. Some fans collect pins or badges as souvenirs from the games and trade them to build their collections. Some of the pins are quite rare, and it's a fun way for locals and foreign visitors to mingle. A massive crowd has gathered at a square in the Gangneung Olympic Park. It might look like they've come to see a medal race on the street, but in fact they're here to trade pins. Pin trading is one of the unique traditions that's developed over the years at the Olympic Games. Anyone with a pin can go up to a trader or anyone else with a pin they like and ask if they want to trade. Hello. Hello. I want to change this pet to this. No, so that's from Vancouver 2010 oh. and it's a hockey pin. Are you interested? Okay, of course. Okay. Thank you. My award. And I traded my Korean flag badge with a pin from the Sochi Olympics. So I'm trying to collect pins with the Olympic rings to commemorate the event. Traders from all across the globe have been building their collections for years and they have a keen eye for what visitors are offering. Though rare pins are much coveted, a pin that represents the ongoing Olympics and the host country is also greatly valued. And pin traders say that through trading, they can feel the Olympic spirit. For the last 15 games, I've been actively pin trading and promoting the idea of fellowship through, uh, through this kind of activity between the different venues. And everybody's just very excited that young girls come up and they're screaming and hollering. They see, so that's what warms my heart. <laughs> Many Olympic sponsors have also joined in the pin trading culture by giving out pins through various events. And starting with the 1988 Calgary Olympics, Coca-Cola has been setting up an official pin trading center. People line up to learn more about the history of pin trading and enjoy the excitement themselves. And while this culture wasn't big in Korea before, it has quickly gained a lot of popularity among locals as well. I didn't know much about pin trading before, but it seems like a nice way to remember the moment. It feels like a treasure hunt. Pins have been available since the first modern Olympics in Athens to distinguish athletes, referees and spectators but they've now become a tradition that brings people from different countries and groups together to share not just the Olympic history, but the spirit as well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for our channel.